Hi everyone, it has been considerably longer since I last made a video than I intended. I had such high hopes for lockdown, I thought it was going to be really productive and the main thing it produced was clinical depression, so that didn't entirely go to plan. As you can see, I have moved house again. This time, a bigger move, I have moved to Cork. So I have finally achieved my 12 year old self's goal of moving to Ireland, though didn't really anticipate the global pandemic situation. That definitely complicates things. So I am here to do a masters in early medieval Irish. Yeah, remember when I said I wasn't gonna do a postgrad? I was lying. I'm a huge nerd. I just couldn't stay away. So I have been here for a month. I think exactly a month as of today, but obviously I had my quarantine and then we've had a couple of weeks of the semester and I'm settling in, trying to remember how old Irish grammar works because I have forgotten everything. And yeah, generally adjusting to being a student again. Although it's quite a different experience to being undergrad at Cambridge. Firstly, because Cambridge is weird. Secondly, because there wasn't a pandemic when I was an undergrad. Thirdly, because I now live in a rented flat rather than in student accommodation, which I am so grateful for. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I could cope with being back in student accommodation, so definitely some pros there. And you know, there's a few things happening. You may remember way back in March when I last made a video, I mentioned the Celtic Students Conference, which was supposed to be happening at the end of March, but obviously got postponed thanks to the situation. Um, it's happening this weekend online. It's seven euro to register. If you see this in time, I'll drop a link in the description. You may not see it in time. I'm giving a paper on Saturday about transmasculine readings of Cuchulain. It's only a, well, 17 minute paper or whatever. So it's just kind of an introduction to the ways that the time presents his masculinity as unconventional in such a way as create space for trans readings. I'm hoping I can make my more in-depth explorations of the topic available at some point. I'm still planning to pursue publication for the 8,000 word article I wrote on the topic. I thought I'd moved on and was going to be doing research that wasn't related to queer and gender theory. Circumstances got away from me and it turns out I am. So I've <laughs> been borrowing some Judith Butler from the library and remembering why I haven't read any Judith Butler for a while. Like, I, I love Butler's work, but it's dense, especially the gender stuff, so... I'm struggling. I'm also stuck in this corner. I also found out that some members of my department are using my videos when teaching undergrads, which is wild, so, uh... <laughs> Huh, <laughs> better not say anything bad about UCC. No, it's fine. I'm loving it so far. I will try and make some retelling videos soon. I thought I'd just give you this little vlog to give you an update on my life because a lot of things have changed. You know, I was furloughed for months from my library job and I wrote a couple of novels and I got an agent. Didn't tell you guys that, I told the rest of the internet, but I've been missing from YouTube. So yeah, I signed with an agent, so fingers crossed that goes somewhere before too long. And then I moved to Ireland. I'm hoping that being surrounded by medieval Irish all the time will mean that I'm in the headspace to make videos again. I think it will, like, it's ages since I looked at any of these stories, but now I'm looking at them constantly, so fingers crossed my brain works well enough. Uh, but if you do have any requests, please hit me up because, like, there's so many stories. I don't know what to tackle. I know I had a list of things I was gonna do, and I misplaced that somewhere in the whole process of moving house twice in a month. Anyway, this was really just a quick vlog to tell you that I'm alive and what I'm up to. Cool. Hope you are all keeping safe or as safe as possible and that your respective governments are being sensible about things. Honestly I feel like I got out of England just in time because the Covid figures there are absolutely terrifying and like yeah we're in level 3 lockdown in Ireland but the numbers are so tiny compared to England it feels kind of unreal. It doesn't really affect me that much. The main thing is that I can't go to dance classes which sucks but other than that my life hasn't changed because I'm unsociable and don't eat out because of allergies. So, like, all my friendships were online anyway. Anyway, yeah, hit me up with video requests and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye!